Hey everybody, Drinkovich here. And today we're playing uh, Pokemon Arceus again. Just a quick recap where we were uh, doing the lake challenges. We did two out of three. Uh, the last one we did was Lake Acuity with uh, Yuxi, the Pokemon le uh, Legendary. Hopefully I said that right. I don't really know how to pronounce it. <laughs> so next up, I'm not sure which lake it is, but we have another lake challenge. And uh, then hopefully we can make the red chain. And then we can go to the shrouded, um, I can't remember what it's called, temple or something. And then hopefully we can uh, figure out what's going on with the rift. So, okay, the next one is Lake Valor. All right, let's go to Lake Valor. I love this flying man, oh, that's so nice. some air from that one. <laughs> Do you know about Lake Valor? It is said to have been formed by volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity or vari Variety. Greedy. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. Az 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 when Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what legend would have us believe. Your arc phone is beeping. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Sin. Let's head in, Sin. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. What an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave anyway? Oh, that's Quillfisher's cool evolved form. A menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch yourself, Sin. Those quills look vicious. Oh, so close to having them. Alright, let's fight him with our quillfish. Oh, I gotta talk to him. Fish me. Quillfish. I'm gonna use 
strong style fire brush because I need to keep doing that so I can turn him into overkill. Is down. Doing polio. I'd like to catch him because he's alpha. Defense stats lowered. I really like how it shows like defense down or attack down up above on the Pokemon. That's so nice. Himself a double edge. I knew you could do it, Sin. I'm glad I caught him because he's Alpha Overquill. You feel a mysterious presence. Hmm. That must be Azel. Show to me unyielding will. Or will. Strike me if you can. Wait, bombs, are you trying to hit me? Trying to hit Azoth with them then? Oh, I gotta fight him? You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. Oh, I almost hit him. You can hear a voice inside your head. It seems you have best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not through yet. <laughs> we gotta at least try it three times. So this is a, an a like a game. All games are threes. Seem to hear a voice inside your head. Give up. Your struggle is in vain. Will you press on? Not through yet. He's gonna get tired eventually. I missed. <laughs> Ew. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You obtained Azel Spang. Proof that you you have completed the trial set by Azel, being a willpower that lives in Lake Valor. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Yo, what's up, Slumpcat? That looked exhausting, but now we've journeyed to all three lakes. I don't know if you noticed, but I got myself moved up a little bit because 
now now you can see my health bar and you can see like my Pokemon and stuff. And I've cropped the top and the bottom. So it's a little more clean. So I just got my last piece from Azelf. And now we can make the red chain and go to the shrouded I think it's Shrouded Temple. It could be Shrouded Ruins. I'm not sure. It seems we finished the Lake Three Lake Three Lake Trials. If I remember correctly, Ruins, it was Ruins. We were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Oh, so can you catch the Lake Trio? Now I don't know if I can catch them. But someone came in the chat yesterday and said, uh, oh, are you catching the Lake 3 now? And I was like, I guess so, right? Because I hadn't even done one yet. But once you do their challenge, they kind of just disappear. So I don't know if they're like in the world now and you can find them somewhere. Because I just beat done their challenges. But they were locked. They were sealed in those caves until I opened them. Now that the cave is open, they're gone, right? So maybe you can like randomly encounter them somewhere. I was excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. They lived in the middle of the three lakes. So these are the hieroglyphs we keep saying. Just want to say, fuck Azel. <laughs> the shrouded ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need this, a setting such as this. Everyone used him as a lead Gen 4 competitive back in the day. Oh, is he that good? That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. He was ridiculous? Yeah. I haven't really used those those guys. I'm like you, I don't really use legendaries. Because I kind of thought, felt like they were cheating. In the actual game. But I guess everybody else did. <laughs> you arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across? The distance dividing us? Yeah, I always felt they were cheap. Yeah. I guess like once you beat the game, then you play with legendaries, but... In PvP, when you're fighting other people, they're kind of cheap too. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. I don't even use them in competitive, to be honest. There's, the thing about them is you can't breed them, so it's kind of like... It's kind of lame. And that's the only thing I don't like about this game is you can't breed. Could you mean that Pokemon that flits about the Hisui region? Ah, but no, never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? I, I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Usoi for the answer? Oh, there they are. Ah, the Pokemon of the Lakes. Made the red chain. You received the red chain. So it's true, the pack of our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At, le at last, I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Sin. Yet, 
Things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego the waiting forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Cornet himself. Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study it himself. Well, he doesn't know yet yet know what our sin has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true, there's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Sin has achieved before he sets out. Oh, we're going. We got kicked out of the village too, Slumcat. They kicked us out. He thinks we have something to do with uh, with the rift. So he charged me with figuring it out and kicked me out, banished me. Welcome back. It's been Groom here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Celine's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. Oh my dear sin. The professor has been awfully worried about you, Sin. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could have hold a candle to the stress you showed, Akari. That's blown it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a man to work. I'm afraid we're going to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hand hands are more than full now that commander Kamado's gone the commander's gone well he set out for Mount Cornet with the security corps in tow he's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side that's why I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready well we aren't getting anywhere out to here Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished on its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must admit, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain. Go on. <laughs> you explained about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps had been scouting the area near the space-time rift and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembles a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountains so as to be to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten Sin to help. As the captain of the security corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Sin, take the red chain to Mount Cornet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Hell yeah. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he shouldn't have left me in charge here. Then all goes well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Let 
Let's go. Let's see. Won't be long for our next great find. Come again soon, yeah. Did you find the commander soon? The commander is already at Mount Cornet. Already? How could a man, grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless? First expelling you soon? Now this? I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinath who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere in this bastard's void that I please, and I am going to stop the commander. Hmm, who's this reckless one? Hey, you gotta run around, run out of the village, right? But you still tired to find... Oh, still tried to find a way to help us all? That's right, Sin worked hard to get the red chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here at the, in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, here, take this. You've received a max river vibe. Your orders are three. One. Make for the summer camp, and for there, from there, the Temple of Sina. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. <clears throat> Three, return here alive. Easy. Oh, the summit camp. I heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here are some max potions for me to celebrate. You obtained three max potions. A topical medicine meant to apply, be applied to Pokemon. It can be used completely restored at max HP of a single boat. It looks like the big moment of spawn at last. But no doubt it'll be fun. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Iridia have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Sin, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up a shop closer to the temple itself. Everyone's camping around here. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support at least. Uh, she don't hate me now, or he don't hate me now. They call this gliding, it's not really gliding. Mistrevious. Ghastly. This one, uh, Voltorb. Alpha Luxray. Ghastly. Glogger. Pseudo Wudo. Is that a Rotom? Let's get the Rotom. Oh. Excellent. I threw it. Oh, it's a Voltorb. 
Oh, it's an Alpha Voltorb. Oh my god, it does so much damage. He's so fast. No, Quillfish. Thank you. Oh my god, he hit me a slide. <laughs> oh no, he's muting the ground. I forgot he's lying. Why don't you do competitive Pokemon on stream, Funk Cat? <laughs> That'd be intense. Catch. I didn't mean to kill that Voltorb, I wanted to catch him, but... more and he should evolve hopefully if not I'm switching it out to the other the quick the, the one I just caught that's alpha And the tunnel, at least. Oh, I should have, uh... Still, still time, I guess. I bought some extra uh, revised for this very reason. Oh, I can evolve them now. Finally, dude. Oh my god. It took forever. He went from level, like, 52 to level 60. Monster. 
I should have looked at the stats before and after. So he's mostly attack. He's got a lot of defense. Pretty good speed, even though it's down. Change moves. Wait, 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 wait. I think... So that's physical, 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 not physical. I wish I had a physical dark move. Hmm. Maybe we can teach him one later inside the village once we get back in. Should raise bravery too. Oh ho, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shuttle the wallflower. Wallflower. I'd pretty or I'd much rather be there serving up some freshly grilled potato moochie. But that taskmaster Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even those old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Oh my god. The potato moochie guy's challenging me. Benny, how could you? I thought you were my friend. I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds. Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word. I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Whoa. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that I've been left to molder all these long years. Benny's a freaking ninja, boys. Galaxy Team's Benny challenging this battle. Miss Magius. I knew Team Galaxy was going to be evil at the end. We're going to do strong style dark pulse. Mm. Sneeze there. Always fast because I use strong style. Um. This core. We're gonna kill him with flying agility abilities. Oh, he's, he's survived with 1 HP. And he got max heal but max potion. His ninja techniques are powerful. He's gonna die now though. Gardevoir, oh, of course. I was wondering when I'd see you. Strong Shadow Ball. Let's go. Oh, she survived. Is he gonna use Max Potion? 
Agile style. Psychic. Nah, Drift Bloom got this. Oh, she went twice. She monster. Rotom. I have three ghost Pokemon. <laughs> Trying style. Ooh. Glade too? Oh my god. You might be the toughest trainer I fought yet. Super effective. Let's go Rotom. Super Dragon Shadow Ball. Oh, it's super effective because of mice. No. Gold type lotion. The last ghost Pokemon. Infernal Parade. Battle decided. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. He was pretty tough though. He almost beat me. Very good young one. Very good indeed. If only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot defeat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Sin. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by Madden Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisoi to try and build a new home where people could be live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato moochie than a human stomach can handle. Man, I knew he was a ninja ever since I saw his little grass mustache at the beginning. Can't fool me, Team Galaxy. I'm from the future. <laughs> Sorry, playing dungeon can't comment much. Ah, uh, it's all good, dude. Well, this is it. Have you brought everything you need? Oh, he's selling stuff. Finally, he's actually a merchant. Oh my god, I got no money. Uh... I had to buy that fridge, see? We'll just sell Stardust and... Look some of these pieces. I can't believe a full restore is 25. 2500 Oh wait, he has Ultra Balls? What the... Okay, we're gonna have to sell some stuff. I don't know where he's coming from, but I'm selling him.
There we go. There have some ultra balls. You better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain. That Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak at any moment now. I think it may be Almodicina. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the one who can do it. Almodicina seems to be nearly here. But still, the commander obstructs us. So apparently, one of the, like, one clan represents space, and the other clan represents time. And they can never be separated because they're space and time. And they make up everything, right? And then there's Team Galaxy, which is the galaxy. That's what they explained. That's what the missus in the shack explained to us when we got kicked out of the village. You again. Oh, Kamado's in full samurai armor. I've heard that the thread chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that the to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but I can't truly put my faith in such or But can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. Commander, please be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition team. I have the same duty toward my clan. But doubting sin like this, you're not just wrong, you're a fool. Perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face pe my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Sin is putting his life on the line as well. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. I knew he was going to say that. Face me with your Pokemon, Sin. Today we battle in earnest. And I will become... Come on. Yaxi <laughs> Team's Kamado challenge you to battle. Oh, he's got a bravery. But I got over quill. Let's go, Dark Pulse. Strong style. Boom. Gravy down. I don't know. Just, okay, Snorlax. Hmm. I should have went back and caught that Snorlax. Oh, he's got high horsepower. And he's fast. Oh my god. Hmm. Let's go with Gliscor, because Gliscor can avoid the high horsepower, at least. We're gonna go with Bulldoze. Oh, fast. Faster than him. Can you get him back though? No. The animation for that was beautiful. Two edge can't move now, Snorlax. Like, attack twice a turn. You're screwed now. <laughs> Hit him three times. Golem Agile style Stealth Brock This is bad. I'm dead. Um Golem's damaged by the recoil. Let's use Empolio. Save us Empolio! We're gonna do an agile style actually, liquidation. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have used special attack. Gonna kill him though. Defense is lowered. 
I just saw again. That's gonna leave us in good position. Oh no, yeah, it's Bendis. Crazy. Oh, we double out Bendis. Man, that thing is fast, like the table. You might as well go strong then. We're gonna go strong style flash cannon. For the one hit KO, no. Survive. That lowered. Oh, he's got the max potion. Regular flash cannon. He survives it. Agile style. It's gonna be bad. He might have like four turns here now. Yeah, no. Down. Critical hit. I'll win. No, I'm the commander. <laughs> Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Oh, that experience. Almost 10,000 of Pokemon. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. I guess it'd be 5,000 if all my Pokemon were alive. It's bowing. Seeing the fates have decided, I concede. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Komato. I know I have no right to ask you for any... Ask you... Ask it of you any longer. But please, use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the po pe Pokemon living in Hisui. Don't worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Wait, what are you doing here? The commander headed to the temple, but I fear the situation's already beyond our control. I mean, I just defeated the commander. Come on, now's the time. Use the red chain. Whoa, wait, what? What is this? There's a voice in my head, no, in my heart. Speaking to me. You hold the red chain, try to catch me, then. Whoa, Iridia, do you hear what you're saying? Catch you. Almoni Sinath? I think Almoni Sinath may be speaking to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain, try to catch me then, for the fight to come. Take these. You obtained 10 Ultra Balls. Oh, sweet, now I got 30. We won't catch that Almoida Sinath Kada. Disappearing from existence. I think that was just a bug, though. Oh, it's Palkia. Really? Go, 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 gadget, red chain. Oh, he broke it like it was a child's toy. <laughs> what the hell kind of red chain is this? A red chain for ants? Oh, first power. Super effective. Overquill. Ah, uh, let's go with Driftman. See if you can tank some stuff. Maybe put him to sleep with a strong hypnotize. Hypnosis. He grew drowsy. 
Hide your pump. Avoid the attack. Um, let's do hex. Dragon style hex. Oh, I almost killed him. That was close. Drift Bloom. He almost, he almost killed me because he moved twice. Okay, let's just try to Ultra Ball now. Got him. <laughs> Pelk is mine. Nah, I'm a god. He caught it, right? He caught all Mighty Sina. The red chain's been shattered, but we've still got the Pokemon of the Lakes to thank for getting this far. Oh, well done, Sin, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time you ba as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. I can hear Almighty Sinath. No, it's it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one, and now comes. It comes now to fight. That is why I am here. You're telling me there's another one? Well, the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Sin could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that one now. Oh, here he comes. It's the other one, I can't remember his name. Dialga? Goo you ga ba ba ga wa. <laughs> I love you. We must vacate this. Ga, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. We gotta make it back to the summer camp. Well, we still can't. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinoth decides he, it wants to fight us. But, Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce. <laughs> you won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Could have caught him with Palkia, yeah, come on. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed I've even managed to stay on your feet this long. Every I didn't read it. And you did. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems like that. It seems likely that I that a buildup of this same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. So if our two clans truly were following different Almighty Sinath, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events! To say nothing of the shock <clears throat> of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to the both of you as, le as fellow leaders. <clears throat> so I had to choose Pearl or Diamond earlier, which one I wanted, and I chose Pearl and I got Palkia. So I guess if I had chose Diamond, I probably would have got Dialga instead. To both of you as fellow leaders, you saw the truth, I could not. You never abandoned your trust in sin. And to you, Sin, I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face greater hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Soy. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, and we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. 
Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having sin about has been a great influence on all. That's only natural. Sin is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be alright. Aren't with the knowledge Moody Palkia imparted on me? Palkia? The Pokemon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name. But that's not all. It also told me this. The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now, disturbing the flow of time. And then Mighty Palkia must, must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, the chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I'll get, I'll get, I gather those, or I'll gather those. And the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say, that might refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it. But what about that stone of creation's beginning part? Leanne might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leanne will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Lavington? Do you have any idea what this store stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Sin, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdier and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them? Aha, just as I remembered, here on the back of the earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this might may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as this plate. In fact, I believe the young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he had been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the stone of creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin Ore. Aridia, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call it Leon to the summit's camp at once. I waited a lot, as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be careful and rejoice. Now, Admin, I see. All these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with, but what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? <clears throat> I'm your leader, Melly. Show, some, show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever you say. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader admin, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the po people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, admin. Oh, you silly foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they're suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget... It seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts, and just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. You obtained three candy truffles. I've brought Lee in. 
Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Isora's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first to consult it. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd take it. You'd like to take it up with Quibor in battle with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and the ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Now they give it a rest and play nice with the pro clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Admin, I just realized she has the same face as Electro. She goes like, "Err." Everyone back home is all work worked up because the pro clan got to speak to Almighty Sina. Or Palkia or whatever. Do you want to hug all the Do you want them to hug all hog all the glory? Warden Neon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto grotto. Primeval grotto, eh? Uh, I'm just gonna rest. I don't know if I need to, but just in case. Yeah, there's a lot going on around here. I bet. What's this guy want? He's calling it to a spiel. Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my seal. Spiel. It's adorable ram body cows it to go rolling down the hill and it's headed straight for the stone tooth rose and boulder roll ravine. Those areas are full of dangerous Pokemon. You're the new Survey Corps member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my dear Spiel. Rolling with Spiel. See Brian's over. There's Feel. And La Satchel. Why is there like Geo dudes here? <laughs> Speed? Oh, he took off. Extremely slowly. Everything's rolling down the hill. Whoa, Alpha Golem. Seems like catch He's level sixty. So I can actually... Oh, he's self-destructed! He's crazy. He survived. Okay. Am I gonna catch him on the first turn? Wow, I caught him on the first turn, bro. Because he's self-destructed. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh no. How's he attacking twice? How's a grabber doubled? <laughs> twice as fast as me, 13 levels lower. 13 levels lower, I should say. This Typhlosion is a counter to uh, rock types. And a counter to water types.
Rolls downhill. Nice, it's spin. I stand corrected. Oh, he's by the water. Oh my god, he's... Oh my goodness, feel I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. You escorted us feel all this way, right? Thank you so much. Please, meet me back at the summer camp. I'll thank you properly there. Speed. Which camp? Summon camp, I guess. Thanks to you, I was able to find this field, and it's within a scratch too. Here, this is for everything you've done. Sticky Cloud 5 and Rare Candies 1. You're going to be more careful for now on, won't you, Seal? Huh? Wait, where does Seal go? Speed, Speed. Rolls down the hill. Ah, Seal. See a ride down. Oh my guys, you're still fainted for Christ's sakes. Um, there's a rap here. Might as well get him. Level 74, oh my god. Anyone shot at me? Let's try road time. I might actually be able to blizzard him. Kinda worked. Now I'm drift bloom for the hypnosis. Oh, Thunderball, don't kill me. Wasn't expecting that. But... This core. Got him. Right, pure years, man. around here. I know 
there's a cave below me. What was this right here? Graveler. Oh, this is where I thought I seen a row time to. Could very well be one here still. Let's see, that looks like a chest right there. Pokeball bean cake stealth spray. Oh, a space time distortion just appeared here. That's cool. I think we have to leave and come back for the good Pokemon spawn. They spawned yet under Not a second end of the message here. Whoa, what blew me back? Gotta be uh, mm. an evolutionary stone in here, too. Ultra Ball, Stealth, Smoke Bomb, Green Shard. And a broom. Well, that's not good. Boom's getting powered up. Typhlosion powered up. Shard, Fire Dust. Oh, I can't pick up the Fire Dust. Can't see his rare candies.
Electrolyzer. Oh yeah, I can make an electro electivire now. Oh, there's an upgrade on the ground too. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. Sticky gloves. Okay. Where do we get a polygon on Oh my god, it's Kranidos. Oh my god, he just put me a flat on my ass. Get back here, I'm getting the ramp down. Um should do a regular flame through if it doesn't die. Perfect, he can't kill himself with double edge either. of she around here. Magmar. I can find an elect electabuzz here. I know where to find them though. They're in the snow place. Oh, there's Rampadon. Rampardos, that's his name. I was gonna say that at first, and I thought it was Don, because it's a dinosaur. Oh, you hit him in the back, you're stunned on the first turn. Didn't even know that. These Ultra Balls are a huge step up from Wing Balls. I'm like, yeah. Red Shard. What can we get rid of here? Get rid of these Iron Chunks because you can buy those. Nugget. Oh my god, that's huge. The Nuggets look as big as I am. Screw the wood. If I could have one nugget or one piece of wood, I'm taking the nugget. Oh my god, Eevee, you're gonna kill me. Dude. Get away from me, sneezer. Okay, okay, okay. This is, oh my god, it's the shield down. Or whatever. Bastiodon? Bastiodon. We'll use Infernal Parade. Oh, he got burned from it. I didn't know it caused burn and does extra damage if they're burned. That's crazy. But if I use it now, he's going to die. We're going to have to use Aerial Lates. Oh, that's really not very effective. Oh my god, he's blowing me apart. The stealth rock is crazy. I'm just gonna try to catch him here. Cat Bastio down. Oh, there's an artillery behind him hitting him this whole time.
We need splash cannon. Still good against that too. Why is artillery good against steel? Resistant to steel attacks, I should say. Rattle on the ground. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get rid of some of this uh, stuff in my inventory. My cow's Jolteon. Make me catch you, Jolteon. Balls are broken. <laughs> Extra sensory. Man, he's buffing himself this whole time. I'm not sure if he can even hurt me. To go in anywhere to sink. We just got uh, Palkia. I haven't put him on my team yet, though. I found this time rift distortion, so I'm trying to catch as many as I can. Waiting for my bad to download so I can run to get some sushi while it uploads. Ah, yeah, I was doing some uh, some of that stuff too today. Ed editing some of my uh, playthroughs. Are you full time streaming? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Our 
artillery down. Let's go. Kinda, slowly easing into it. <clears throat> nice. Oh, I got no Pokemon left. Time to get out of here. I haven't been doing it very long myself. I started it in January. We got a lot of stuff from the space time. Though. Oh yeah, the flying mount is the best. I love it. It spoiled me hard because I played this before Scarlet. Gotcha. You do you do get flying in Scarlet towards the end at least, but I guess starting over without it again. <laughs> Kind of like gliding. Oh, there's a Rotam. He's running around. We got Rotam unawares. Uh, let's not kill him. That'd be effective. You don't remember that? Uh, the... Whatever mount you choose at the beginning of the game. Like the legendary. You, you upgrade him over time. So, uh... Eventually he can climb and then he can glide, right? But you don't get the gliding part till like, further in the game. Yeah, it's not it's not really flying. <laughs> I wish it was flying. Type moves though. I should go with Glyphor. No, Drifter. I don't know how steel, steel moves might be pretty strong though. Power, oh, he's got rock moves. Right. Well, hopefully, he doesn't have ground moves. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't want to kill him. This might kill him, though. No. He's tough. He does have ground moves. Got him. Dude, Ultra Balls are insane. <laughs> I used like seven so far and caught seven things. Oh, this is what these were for. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leanne? What do you think, Lian? Taking into consideration my knowledge of the ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligo, Sligo's moves, I think you'd better leave my extra extraction work up. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. 
Ah, the misfortune sisters. <laughs> oh, come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with. Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. We've been... Where you've been all this time? Hmm. I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, I can carry on digging out that treasure you're after. And then... You... Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after. And then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you, you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, that earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me lead the pro-clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why any of you ran off to play bandit, but I won't let you get in Leanne's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Sin. You take charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and, I'll, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this battle, the battle of a lifetime. What do you got this time, bandit charm? Ride on. Uh, I don't know if I got anything for a rock type. Bulldoze. I need to master Bulldoze. Or get Earthquake for him or something. Earthquake would be really good on Gliscor. This is a bad situation. Um, let's go with Tithe Lorgen. Hopefully you can outspeed Gengar. Oh. Dragon Style Infernal Parade. Battle decided. Well, you were rather formidable. Some good experience. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. We could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all of its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. You're strong as ever, Sin. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Honestly, those three, what did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she groused as she did so. I suspected that may have been... I suspect they may have been worried about us. Perhaps even wanting to help. Well, they shouldn't, should have just said so. What a pain they are hiding behind all that attitude. <laughs> He's using Guja. I was able to extract some of the origin ore, or whatever it is you wish to call it, I suppose. It had better go with you, Sin.
You obtained a piece of origin ore. An ore of mysterious power spoken of in ancient myths and said to obtain, contain the power of Almighty Sunaf itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew I could count on you. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver and recognize you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavington's got some sound judgment. Please knowledge, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. I think I can fast, fast travel. I don't know where I have to go. Yeah, I can fast travel. Oh, this is Night Fortnite. I was going to say, I've been here before. stuff away. for ultra balls yet. Time to go somewhere. So this is the stone of creation's beginning, the origin or Mm, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very, the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything. By the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then. Back we go to Jubilee Village. All right, Mr. Professor, it's all in pieces now, and this is what what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it's still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly, we're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, Sin. Next comes the stone of creation's beginning. You handed over the origin's ore, or the origin ore. The fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Diamond Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we learned of thanks to the Brooklyn. Oh, I just read that. And now it is time for Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, you are one of the team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield, Sin, even if it may be safe indoors. <laughs> this may take us some time, perhaps the rest of you best wait outside while we work. Ok, 
Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever because that'd be using time well. Unlike this. Well done. Or we did it, Sin. I dub it the origin ball. The message conveyed to our great clan leader can be believed. This should be allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the top. Temple of Sinna. <clears throat> Whoa. You obtained an origin ball. A singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the temple in Sinna. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all of Soy could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Wait, please, I hear something. That voice is speaking in my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yes, it appears that mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in this battle. Now that's what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's almighty Sina. Well, I guess I should just call it Palkia as one fierce Pokemon. Everything's ready now, Sin. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sina together with Palkia. Kind of makes more sense that Dialga is the evil one, because Dialga is <clears throat> Dark and Dragon, isn't he? Never, never, you whelp. Oh, they're pissed at each other again. Oh, dear customer, I'm sorry you had to see that. I asked Tuahua to supply me with some new goods, but he simply wouldn't do do business with me. I truly hate to keep him posing like this, but would you please try to make him see reason? You do well to bring him a token of goodwill, perhaps some sand radishes? Three ought to do. Jeez, I don't even know if I have sand radish. I can buy them though, like right here. Rip. Ah, uh, sell this. And buy three of these. Now let's go see the Hua. I'll serve a core recruit quelled the Lord of the Hollow. I'm sorry to keep getting roped into errands on my account. Or you keep getting roped. To tell you the truth, I'd be happy to just get my corpse product out of the shop for free. But that'd be letting Troy out the hook. The very interest, the very idea of that sets my teeth gnashing. Are you bound for the Alabaster Iceland soon? Would you bring back three sand rashes? Oh. You're back with the veggies? Well done gathering them in that harsh climate. Would you let me have three sand radishes? Sure. And over three. Ah, sand radishes. The alabaster's Iceland's finest feature. If you give me these bitter roots, a nice thorough pickling brings out a unique sweetness. Once they're pickled, they make for a lovely crisp and quite well-liked snack. My granddaughter makes a fine pickle, I tell you what. Wait, I read that wrong. <clears throat> My granddaughter makes a fine pickle, I tell you what. Because I ask her to give one of these a nice briny soak. Anyway, I'm sorry to have kept on using you as a good between go between with Troy. I suppose it's time I had a proper conversation with the whelp. And finally. Report back to Troy about your progress.
Whoa, there's a Lucario here. What in the hell? Roof. Something the matter, Lucario? I'm Rye. And you are? Oh. Okay, you're Sin. Nice to meet you. Roof. What is it, Lucario? Roof. It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Training grounds to battle you, you say? That's down here, isn't it? No, it's right there. Before we do that, I'm gonna pull out Palkia. Do, 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 do. Who do I get rid of? Um, I think I get rid of Overquill for Palkia. And this golem has flame tower, that's hilarious. Pass is pretty good too. Wait, what is Palkia? Water and Dragon. Okay, that's cool. I need it. I have a water fight with Polion. Psychic and fighting. Pillow Swine. I kind of want to use him. I'm going to swap him out. And then... Let's see if we can evolve him. Yep. Do it. Pillow Swan evolved into a Mammoth Swan. Okay, let's check his moves. Lizard, Ancient Power, High Horsepower, and Icicle Crash. What moves does he have? Spatial Rent tears the target along space around it. Move has a heightened chance of landing critical. Okay. Let's go to the training ground. Teach him some moves. Some new moves, man. The swine, earth power. Let's get rock slide. Oh, I don't have enough money. All right, screw it. Do that later.
Are you <clears throat> are you and here you are, last one, ready to fa face your fate atop Mint Cornet. Seems a vicious battle might await you. Hmm. Okay, give me five minutes. And I'll be right back. Five minutes. All right, we're back. Make sure you can hear me. I need me. I need to get like a little video for when I take my break or something. Keep people interested. Oh well, or oh well said. Now, hearkening my to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinath is Dialga, ruler of all time. If it is allowed to run wild, time itself will twist and bend here in Hisoi, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Palkia at your side and make for the Temple of Sinath once more. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have to look around here before I go. See what your clothier, your clother, as I'm after. Excuse me, is this time for shopping? I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. All right, Sin, once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinath once more. Oh, I gotta go to the actual guy. Here we go.
I should have went to the summer camp all around. Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought I might help might be helpful to you if I set up here closer to the temple. <clears throat> I want to have the front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you wouldn't you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of handling myself. Or taking care of myself. And Besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubts you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Wait, 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 you tell stuff? Alright, I'm broke anyway. For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you showed me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. Sin, in all the vast space, your place has found you. What in the world does that mean? It's a Pearl Clan saying. It reminds us that occasions we reminds us that occasions we must rise to are also stages where we may prove ourselves, where we might shine our brightest. So basically you're saying not to feel nervous? I'm starting to see the appeal of how your Pearl Clan people think, in some situations anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Sin, protect Swoy and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Go Palkia. <laughs> he looks even crazier in 3D. Dialga. He's like a battle horse. An evil battle horse of death. Oh my god, I forgot I gotta fight him. Okay, don't let me too close. I didn't realize he was a noble. It was like a noble fight. Stop you, 
using Draco Meteor. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta jump through it. Yeah, now I know to jump through it. Yeah, yeah, let's battle again. Oh, did it right away. Try to stay locked on and make it easier. Turn around there. Not lock on. <laughs> okay, he does it three times. We got it this time though. I can almost beat him without even fighting him. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. I think you're supposed to dodge everything and then fight him. He a monster. Got that race look at. Oh my god. He starts off with an explosive wave, he can't dodge. Cause he's the god of time, you know? Okay, this is getting sketchy. Again, no. 
Throw bombs, save your life. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I never even had to fight him with Valky yet. Kitchen with the orange ball. A basic level ninety. Or at least seventy. So does that mean I control all space and time now? See, I'm just gonna make it like I I think it would be cool. I don't know if this is what's gonna happen, but your character controls space and time now, right? Or at least he can manipulate it to go to other places because he can open the rift, right? You could have this character go to any region in any Pokemon game and remake it as a Pokemon Legends game. How cool would that be, right? And I think that's might be what they're doing with A to Z. A Z Legends. Cause it was X Y and now it's A Z, right? He he caught it. He really did it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it? Yes, oh, good show, what a catch. You contained that fearsome thing in the origin ball? Absolutely astounding as ever seen. Finally. Formidable as usual, Sin. Hmm, yes. Sniff. <laughs> so even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see today. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Huh. Ouch, fuck is, Commander. Not sure I deserved a sumo throw. Hmm. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Erm. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any, uh, any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration his boy has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty synoth of our own, I guess the times when we'd fight over whose was wrong and or right are ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree, but this may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hussoi region. <clears throat> Crazy. See, I didn't need to catch Palkia. You look back at the rift. They got control of you now. I'll be back. See that sly smile, you know? Ah, the beginning of the game. Our first potato moochie. My first assignment, probably. Meeting Commando. Commando. Bolo. Mudslax and May. Weird Deer. Ian. Cleavor. The Misfortune Sisters. Uh, Clada. Warden Clada. Uh, Adamin. Lilligant. Arlias. 
Viridia. Can't please remember all these names. Uh, I can't remember his name or her name. Bastilesi. Arcanine, never did find you to catch you. Indigo. Sneasler. Millie, or Melly. Aswoyan Electro. Bravery, and I forget her name. Also forget his name. Avalug. Forget her name. <laughs> uh, Yuxi, Azelf, and something else. Benny, the secret ninja, potato moochie guy. Commander Kamado in a samurai uniform. The Rift Temple. These are the guys who worked on the 3D modeling. Dude, they had three people working on the modeling. Oh no, never mind. That's a lot more. That's a lot more tree people. That's how many people it takes to make a game like this. What the end game is. Building it to Poke next. Apparently, there's an Act 2. I don't know when Act 2 started, if it's already started or it's about to start, but we'll see now after the credits. Chinese graphic design, Yi Peng. Developed by Game Freak. Of course. Look at this. Thank you for adventuring with us. It's like an oil painting. That's pretty cool. Your arc phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. <laughs> Seek out all Pokemon. My God. I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I'm prepared for this. Good morning, Sin. Looks like Space Time Rift has vanished. The sky has gone back to normal again. Which I suppose means we'd better get back to our original mission. Completing the Pokédex. We're going to meet in the Survey Corps office to discuss our next steps. See you there soon, Sin. Woo! <laughs> Act 2, baby. So, I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Sure did. Indeed. That only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Lavington, to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokédex? I dare say we've all made quite significant progress all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research task. And of course it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisoi's legends. After all, who knows if they're even real. With how little we know about Hisoi's history and legends, it seems a tall order for us to tackle. 
pardon, I couldn't help but overhear. If it's the soy's history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Why, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead instead of, um, I mean, well, also tired of doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many of the runes and whatnot here in the Soy region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of, of legend in these parts. Ahoy, my here music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Sin, you are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed, for the sake of the Pokédex. We, my, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by the other means. Understood, I'll set up the Heights Camp then. Sin, I'll be expecting you. The Researcher of Myths. Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. Meet Bolo at the Heights Camp in the Obsidian Fields lands. We need to make some money so we can grow some mints and stuff. You still got nothing for me? It should be a lot easier to catch Pokemon now though with the Ultra Balls. And I can fly. <laughs> this was my oyster. I wonder what was like around here that you can only reach by by uh, the air. Got to be something, right? Oh, there's a giant tree over there. Oh, that's a uh, that's the Cleaver Arena. Sin, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. A good line, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon. I come to think that they might be letters rather than hieroglyphs, if you will. I have instructed, inspected runes across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of all, an all-encompassing deity. Deity? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Dun, 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 dun. Perhaps you've already heard this name. Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> is this the place you have? I was able to get a good look at it as we were visiting the lakes. You say it's called an Arc Phone, correct? I could swear that it's some sort of tie to Arceus. But now, let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. The original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Sin? I think we should try and gather all the plates. And I got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of the grueling grove. Grueling grove? I don't know where that is. Oh, I could probably only get there by flying. Oh, it's Alpha Stantler. No, you can actually no. 
You can get here if you have a uh, Sneasler, by the looks of it. Or even a water Pokemon, for that matter. Now, Sin, according to my own investigations... What? An Alpha Vespa Queen? Terribly sorry, Sin, but... Do you think you could handle it? Palkia... Alpha Vespa Queen is filled with wild might. It's level 60. See if we can handle a hodgepodge. Yep. Agile style. Bug buzz. Why are we so fast? Even even legendaries aren't like amazing. Space between is kicking my ass. Bug buzz. So I can put lures on the ground, and if it's the right kind of lure, the Pokemon will be easier to catch when it eats it, and it'll probably turn your back, turns back to me, and then I can throw a ball at it. Uh, stone plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of rock when used on a certain Pokemon, allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the rock type. Why did the Alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find a plate laying around? In any case, that's the only other plate that had any information about it, so that's that. And yet, nothing seems to have happened, which makes me suspect that there's still more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about plates. Mistress Kogita. That's the witch's name. The one and only Mistress Kogita, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onward to the ancient retreat. That's where I had to live when I, uh, when I was banished. Thirteen Pokemon? Oh, I haven't turned in for a while. Twenty thousand. Let's go. Seems you've made some new observations. Have a look. Man, big money whammies. 1300, nice. Return to the village. We have to go to the ancient retreat. Oh, last one. It's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well. You carried out your duty as you were bid. Well, what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about Arceus. Ah, yes, a tale whose origins lie in a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinath people, for whom I am descended across many generations. Those four bears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisoi region, and I've heard of certain fragments, plates, as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleavor and Weirdir. 
Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about the Arceus plates. But Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga, Dialga and Palkia with the creator, Arceus, had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on, the answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why sin here fell from the sky. Aha, I see what you intend. Very well. I'll help as best as I can. There are still many other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but I am searching them out. Perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are Pokemon of the lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? Whoa. Uh, let's start with the volcano. Well, where could that be but Fire Spit Island? The plate of Fire Spit Island. Now then, what would you hear of? The Three Lake Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes, them you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Maybe I can catch them now. Now then, what would you hear of? The Crescent Moon. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the Coronet Heights for now. Play to the Coronet Heights. Now then, what would you hear of? The Temple Giant. The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Play to Snowpoint Temple. Now then, what would you hear of? The Beginning. Indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it that you first fell to earth here? The plate of Prelude Beach. Now then, what would you hear of? I think that's everything. Don't the questions, are you? Yes. Very well, last one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of space-time rift compelled the Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has fallen the world. I hope you succeed for your own sake and for that of the Pokedex you labor on. I knew I could rely on you, Mr. Mistress Kagita, and that's what's that's more than enough information to work with. Now let's find those plates. Very nice. Uh, one second, guys. All right. Let's go. Where, do you, where should we go first? I kind of want to go to Fire Spit Island. Just as I suspected, Pokemon are the key to our search soon. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the backs of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kogita mentioned soon. You have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue, or I have my own. Arceus, creator of all his way. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Okay. We'll go back here now. Yes, return to Jubilaf Village. I've had a message from Mistress Kagita. I'm told you're collecting plates of some, of some sort with Merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Is this a new map? Prelude Beach? No, Prelude Beach is down there where the people come in on the boat. Also, <laughs> 
What does this guy say, I wonder? Line up. Lots of targets pop a lot per ball. Practice, 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 best of all. Manage to break 10,000 points. You'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. Yeah, sure, I'll try your challenge. Oh my god, they're drift balloons. Drift balloons. Oh, you could pop more than one. Oh. I got more than 10,000. Eighteen thousand. Oh my god, seven hit throw. <laughs> 240,000 points. It's a little more than 10,000, isn't it? Your score this time was 248,200 points. Now, isn't that something? You set yourself a record. Well done. Like I said, I've got prizes lined to give it, depending on how well you do. Based on your score this time, here's a prize just for you. Five great balls. Well done. Since you broke through the 10,000 mark, you get the real prize. One nugget. Don't think you stop there. Keep aiming higher, kid. Play on and get better and better all the time. Better you do, the better prizes I'll hand out. Sure. Try to set a new record. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Not doing as good as last time, though. I don't even know how I got 200,000. That was crazy. It's because of that seven throw. Alright, not too bad anymore. I'll never beat my first record. <laughs> oh, there's a wisp over here. Wow. 
Why are we here? Prelude Beach, indeed, a place for beginning. Oh, beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. Yes. Oh, he's got five Pokemon? This could be hard. I don't even know who my first guy is. Palkia, okay. Perfect. Water Dragon type. Strong style. Agile style fire punch. Okay, that was useless. It's like one fourth damage. Some dragon and water. Let's do spatial rend. I haven't even seen this attack. Oh, useful restore. Oh my god. Also raise the powers defense, attack and defense. Okay, let's try that. Power. Dead. <laughs> the score. This is actually a hard fight. The fable. Let's go with the uh, rock slot, see if we can flinch. Oh no. He's buffing. Alright, new plan. We'll bulldoze on your way to victory. Pulse? Oh no. Um Drift them. I'm not sure how fairy and ghost work. I don't think it My attacks don't do anything extra. Or less. They're just Normal tune. Yeah, I think we're neutral to each other, Ghost and Fairy. Except for his normal attacks. Oh, he's draining me. Oh, that's such a good combo. Draining Kiss Clefable. Can you handle Hypnosis? Dude, you should try to nuzzle lock this. <laughs> I 
Let's use a max potion. Two tries to move. Oh, that's working. Hypnosis for the win. Bravery. Oh, he's screwed. Agile style. Esper wing. Oh, that's a cool attack. He's so fast. Strong style. Shadow ball. This should take that, I think. Oh, he's survived barely. He's gonna use max potion there. That had to have been scripted. There's no way he survived with exactly that much health, right? Bravery's down. Heracross is his last Pokemon. That's hilarious. Heracross! Trying stuff, flash cannon. Close combat, all dead. Hair cross, so powerful. Typhlosion, my last Pokemon. Carry me. Trying stuff, flame thrower. He's gonna get so much experience. Holy crap. Battle of the side. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. You know, I'm surprised they didn't do any DLC for this game. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mint Cornet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here you should have this. You received the fist plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of fighting spirit. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of fighting type. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others, set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, so I've, been, I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that we should now end up with, with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Admin, Iridia, it appear we're all being guided by this one called Almighty Sinath. Hmm, it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinath region. I know I have no right to say this, but you e are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps' ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Cornet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now, then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokemon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. The Plate of Prelude Beach Based on Ka Kogita's hints, it seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. I think I can fast travel. Did you guys hear that noise? It was like a uh, Pokemon calling it. Interesting. Now, you have anything to sell me? Hi there, got a special product in stock. Unwieldy armor. What does unwieldy armor do? What is it you ask? Well, that's for you to find out after you buy it. What do you say? 
I'll take it. Great choice, all yours then. You obtained a protector. Oh, protector item is some sort of... Of some sort, it is extremely stiff and heavy. It's loved by certain Pokemon. Won't be long before you our next great find. Come again soon, yeah? What's the protector for again? I forget what Pokemon that is. Wait, let me check, guys. Uh, protect your- oh, it's for Rhydon. I already got Rhyperior here, though. That's okay. Let's do the volcano first, because I kind of want to get a gravel. Maybe we can find them while we're flying. That festive, that festival attended by everyone in the clans and galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful, being able to spend time with Iskin in front. So it's Paulina and Iskin. That's the ones I forgot. In front of everyone was like a dream come true. Sin Lina, uh, I'm sorry, Paulina, here, has something to discuss with you. That's right, you should also hear this, Iridia. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Oh, Firespit Island? Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just very hot there. <laughs> My, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seed of that... Of the seat that my lord Arcanine calls home. And to think you call yourself our leader, Iridia? No, no, Lena, I didn't. Oh, stop with this silly old nickname in front of others, won't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to the fire spit so we can resolve this. Julia, please hurry. I might melt out here. I think there's something up here. Big area up here. Parasect. This has to be the only place you can. This has to be the place you go for flying. What's in here? It's a cave. There's nothing here yet. Or I've already gotten it.
It's not telling me where to go. I guess I have to go to the actual volcano. I remember seeing an Alpha Nine Tails out there. So I guess it's the other side of the volcano. Oh, you can't fly over lava? No way. How do I get over there then? Let's so grab this nine tails. Oh, maybe he is the one that drops the fire plate. Then I think about it. Go, Walter Ball. Oh, I escaped. Oh, there goes Bucky. Yeah. So, maybe it's... I know there's letters in the sea cave here. Hieroglyphs. Plates of the lake. That's not the one I'm doing. I'm doing this one. It was over there. Oh, I gotta talk to her. It seems Arcanine has settled into his role as, quite, as Lord quite nicely. He's learned how to control his frenzied might and can use it in battle at will. Still, I'm sure you two can learn much from each other. What would you like to do? Oh, have a rematch. Certainly.
Oh my god, you can rematch him? Oh my god, is he gonna be harder now? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. He's hard too, he's the hardest one. I think. He felt like he was. Turns dodging his attacks at least. style liquidation defense that silver though dragon style wild charge oh my god he's got electricity what oh his guard's dead he must have hurt himself oh he almost killed backwards instead of forwards. Alright, we'll get this. My god, he's a monster, dude. You alright soon? Our king's grown strong, hasn't he? You've both done well getting this far. Did you heal me at least? Yep. Alright, let's rematch. Let's see. Too quick. Yeah, gotta look at his eyes. Oh. 
this. Is there anything he's bad against? Maybe Mammoth Swine, but Mammoth Swine is going to dodge with a fire attack. Only one first. Ooh, one shot at him. Critical hit. Dude. So lame. The shockwave from the ground pounds gets me every time. Almost every time. One die. Yeah, this I had to do him three or four times the first time. This is a rematch. I, don't, I guess he, he's a higher level when you're fighting him, but his moves are the same. Hopefully Palkia can have speed him this time. Oh, I missed. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll do strong style. He might kill me. I'm surprised he didn't use wild charge. It's pretty cool struggling on Pokemon, right? It's so different. Yeah, dude. I, uh, I'm glad that they made it hard. Makes it better. I'm probably not going to get this because I have to dodge everything perfectly now. <laughs> that slam attack is so annoying. <laughs> Alright, we'll get it this time. You went Elden Ring on that ass, yeah. I just finished Elden Ring too and he's still kicking my ass. You could easily be a boss on Elden Ring. I need to turn my camera speed up a little bit, I think. It takes me so long to turn around. Palgi is so slow, man. Even my my mammoth swan can end to beat his arcanine. <laughs> Agile style. 
we just got up here. We're finishing the man's line, hopefully. Do I plan on doing after this one? Um, it's a good question. I have Sekiro. Me and the guys have been doing Sekiro and oh, they've been doing Dark Souls and Sekiro, and I haven't played Sekiro yet. So I was gonna do it and show them, show them all up, you know? Because <laughs> I started on Elden Ring. Yeah, Sekiro is supposed to be really good. I watched them play it, and it looks really fun. But, uh, that's if some, like, amazing game doesn't come out in the next couple days or something. I got the Lady bot Butterflies and beat her, then I took a break and never went back. Oh, dude, you should go back. <laughs> See, what happened was Slumcat here, he bought, he played Dark Souls and couldn't, he didn't like it, right? So he gave up on it. And then our other friend, Fat Green Hat, <laughs> he uh, he played Sekiro and he got partway through it and he, quit, he didn't beat it, he quit. So they made a deal with each other, if you beat Dark Souls, if Slumcat beats Dark Souls, then Fat Green Hat would beat uh, Sekiro. So now they're both playing it, and they're both like, almost, almost have it beaten. So I've been watching both of them, and then I'll stream after they're done. But they took a break today, so I'm streaming a little bit earlier. And I didn't want to stream Sekiro on top of them streaming Sekiro, because then it would be too much Sekiro. <laughs> so I'm doing Arceus while I'm waiting. Oh. Got him. I'm working on the evil within 100% achievement run on Steam right now, off stream. Nice, dude. I don't know if I've ever played that one. I've seen uh, the cover and stuff. Is it good? Is it like Resident Evil? That was a splendid match. I'm so proud of both you and Arcanine. This time you defeated him in 4 minutes and 3 seconds. Such an outstanding victory must be celebrated. Please accept this gift from me. 3 medium experience candies. Please take this as well. Contain large experience candy. Thank you truly for training together with Arcanine. It means so much to both of us. Oh, I was supposed to go over here. Feels bad, man. I thought I died. <laughs> Hello, Sin. Thank you for coming so far out of your way. Er, Warden Iskan. Wasn't Lena joining us? Oh, yes, about that. Um, It seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she's asked us to check the Lava Dome Sanctum without her. Came out for PS3 originally, so it's kind of janky, but I like it. It's pretty good for when it came out. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> I bet it's really good. It's also usually under $4 almost all year round. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I don't have PS3, though, sadly. <laughs> what? The nerve of? She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this. It's on Steam. Hello. Oh, gotcha. Now, for often, well, I guess they do bring Sony games to Steam, but when I, when someone says it's on PS3, I'm just like, oh, I can't play <laughs> or PS anything. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Anyway, 
sin shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Let's go. Oh, it's Heatran. Goo <laughs> goo 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 boo boo bo. Careful sin. Oh god. What is this? It's gonna kill my ass. Uh, I don't know what this do. He's probably gonna kill me. Oh. Maybe I have to have a lure or something for him. Everything went black. Oh, I lost stuff. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe a scatter bang. It's funny how she stood like five feet away and she's like, nah, I'm not coming. Screw you guys. <laughs> oh, you dick. Okay, he doesn't care about scatterbang. <laughs> I guess I just have to keep dodging him until, it's, until he gets tired. Okay, maybe I should lock onto him. Can't lock on to him. You want me to tell you how? It's not just dodging. Oh, dude, I lost so many hyper balls. I'm gonna be broke doing this shit. I'm surprised they don't tell you. No, more than dodging. Uh, I'm guessing it's a cake. A fire cake. Cake lure. Or something like that. No. Um, is it an item? something you throw. Well, I guarantee I don't have it. Because I don't keep that stuff in my inventory. Wait, let's see if the quest gives me a hint. Kagita has provided you with hints that might help you find more plates. One seems to be connected with virus, but I'll see the... No. Would it be the sticky orb? The sticky things? It stuns Pokemon when you throw them. Alright, it's gotta be something that I can get already.
Oh, you can change your Pokemon here? I didn't know that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is the only craft. I gotta go and buy some recipes, dude. I don't even have any recipes. Is it a mud ball? <laughs> it is? That's funny. <laughs> I can actually pull one of those out of my thing, but I still want to buy some recipes. It'll break his little shield, okay. Green cake. Okay, let's get the cakes. Superb remedy. I don't even know what that is, I'm getting it. Oh, that's probably for your PP. You can't buy those, so I'm gonna definitely buy those. Honey cake, green cake, yeah, butter. Now, if I fast travel over here, I should be able to pull some out of the box. I think I actually sold my mud balls. <laughs> or I uh, discarded them because I never had very much room. One of these guys sells them. Now listen, I'll set you up with some new goods, but as a favor to sin, not you. Don't think for one second this means I've accepted you. But Tawahua, sir. Oh, please, Grandpa, I can't believe this is still an issue for you. Hmm. Louis, Yui? How long have you been... What? Is our little store not worthy to sell your goods? Talk about letting personal feelings get in the way of your business. You keep this up, Grandpa, I swear I'll never speak to you again. Good, but why, sweet Yui? You swore you'd never get married and leave your poor gramps. Who in the right mind takes a tiny child's words so seriously? Fook you, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry my grandpa has been such a bother to you, Sin. I hope this doesn't put you off visiting our shop. Well, in any case, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. New wares, yet again. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, I thought I was going to get Ultra Balls, but I didn't. Dude, no Mud Balls? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even know if I have any. Let's go find some. Oh, let me see where they come from. It's 
<laughs> I looked it up and it says the best place to go is the Heatran chamber. There's 20 in there. But I don't know if you could do that during the fight. I found out once you unlock Cobalt Coastlands, there's a cave near the Molten Arena camp where you can get 20 mud balls. Yeah, let's go to, let's try to find this Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, I've never even seen Porygon yet. Uh, where else Cobalt Coast? Oh, first. One. I'll keep an eye out for those Pokemon. I know Mantike isn't. I don't know where Mantike is. He's out here in the ocean. But the Molten. Oh, he was talking about in there. Let's just kill a uh, man tyke, a couple of man tykes, and see if we can find some mud balls on. They should be out here. There you go. They're probably gonna run away from me. Oh, he can fly. Got him. Man today. <laughs> These wing balls are sick. Balls? Nope. God, this game is so good. <laughs> yeah. I was telling the guy earlier I found a Magneton. And he was like flying so high in the air. And I really wish that I'd, I'd known that I could throw the wing balls further because I would have caught him at the time. Alright, I'll check it out now in a second if I don't get any out these guys. You probably just have a low drop chance. These are remorades. Should be oh these are remorades. I can just get catch these too. Uh, they're hostile though. I just use great balls. Yeah. God, I can't believe I deleted those mud balls. Now I need them. I could go on to the next one. Come back to this one. I need to catch these guys anyway for the Pokédex. Got a ball mud. Do I need more than one?
shall see. I, I might as well get two. Since they're so easy to catch. Imagine you'd need a bunch for different phases, I can't remember. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Damn you, Remorades. Sky Tumblestone. That's a manatee. That's a manatee. Can I catch him? Like that? Yep. Man time. What is that? That's man team. Dude, these balls are like hit scan. <laughs> Did you get any games from Steam Summer Sale? Mm, not yet. I might get. Is it over now? I got paid today and I might get something. July 11th, okay. I don't even know what date is. Uh, 7th, okay. Um, Jedi Survivor looks really good. I would love to get that. It's just that I don't have a whole lot of money right now. <laughs> um, there's another one too that looked really good. Say the seventh. No, no, it's the fifth. Yeah, yeah. My com like my computer. The date is weird. <laughs> the date format is weird because I I picked a custom one so I could see the day. Or a month or something. These things don't drop, drop them very often, do they? Oh shit, man, I'm throwing great balls. Alright, let's get out of here. Hopefully all the Pokemon games have mounts from now on.
I think the, the fight itself has mud balls on the floor. So, let's just try it. I got two of them there. If you can throw anything else at it, uh, probably not because it's cedar scattered all over the floor. Oh, okay. I'm gonna learn how to avoid this attack. Maybe if I jump through it. <laughs> through a berry at him. Yeah, there's a lot. I didn't even notice those. Yeah, I didn't see them the first time either. Oh, so fire can be good here. Strong style. Earth power. I'm dead. Okay, that gives my next Pokemon two turns, which means I should use Napoleon. Try to take him down as fast as possible. Just use Hydro Bump. Oh shit, was I supposed to catch him? <laughs> oh no. Pressed it too. It's just too late. At this time, he tran. I mean, he kills Napoleon this time. Dude, I should get the chance to choose Agile style. Like, come on. Critical. It'd be funny if you got experience for that. Okay, let's heal up. I'll try this again. <laughs> that violin noise is so creepy. Okay, I didn't know more mud balls in the ground. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I hurry. Oh no, I'm pulled down. I hope we don't crit this time. Defense is lowered. Let's do a flash cannon. Then. Earth power, okay. Then we're gonna go Drift Bloom, Hypnosis, and then catch, hopefully. Strong style Hypnosis.
try an ultra ball. Got him. Woo. You obtained the iron plate. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of steel. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the steel type. Phew, at least the heat's let up a bit. With both Arcanine and Heat transpuing flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Warden Iskin, I have to ask, or Iskin, do you think there can be any need at all for me to be here? Well, um, yes, of course there was. After all, you were the leader of the Pearl Can, and there's trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so, um, yes, it was surely best for you to come and see it. See to it. Admirable, admirable of, for you to look after your clan's affairs. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her Growlithe harder. The, 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 that's surely not the case. Even if Warden Paulina may have mentioned something about the need for um, tough love. I thought so. Uh, to think she was so patient and calm with Growlithe. But when it comes to me. Well, Sin, you did great. Well, um, just head back ahead of you then. We'll just head back ahead of you then. Based on Cognito's hints, it seems there might be three more plates left for you to find. Can I fast travel from here? Man, I still don't know where Growlithe is. I'm gonna look it up. In the wild, in both Windbreak Stand and Veilstone Cape. Windbreak Stand and Veilstone Cape. Veilstone Cape right here. Really? So all this right here can have a growler. Okay. I did not know that. Oh my god, look at all the mana picks. 6700, I can't complain with that. Seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look. Observations, I mean. Observations. Oh yeah, a new star. Splendiferous results. I dare say you earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Silene, eh? I'd be get right on it if I were you. No, we're getting a growl with. Cause I already got the firestone for that baby. Also, I didn't realize till way late that these are actually treasures. So I can dig up. Yeah, there's a lot. I didn't even see those. Yeah, I didn't either. Oh no, that was for the mud balls. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't see the mud balls either. Oh, there's one.
Oh, Kitsui. I've been saying it wrong the whole, the whole time. Kisui. Scrapper, Firestone, wherever that went. Oh, do I not have one? I thought I had one. I could probably get one from catching growls. Oh well. <clears throat> when I get one, I'll use it. Alright, let's go get our rank up. I didn't mean to do that. Back to Jubilee Village. Wonder what I get this time. If you have a progress report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me the Pokédex. You've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. That's number six. Okay. With this, you have officially obtained the rank of six star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Ultra Balls. Pokemon of up to level 80 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn from Serbia Reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well, they are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Ultra Balls. Max Potion. Right. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex. I hope it will raise your fire in the ranks. Okay. How much money do I have now? Wait, if I sell something, sell our nugget. But I think I have more than one of these. Thought I did. Snap. We're gonna grow some mints. Cost ten K. Then we can change some natures. Mint harvest. That's great. Let's just choose a place first. Or choose a mission. Let's do the snow point.
Now, before we start this, I think I'm going to take a five minute break again because it's been two minutes or two hours, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, I think I need to level up because now I can control Pokemon level 85. Also, I might change up my team. I wish I put Heatran on, I think. Fire and steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gimme, give gimme. Give now, Drift Bloom has been really good, but Dialga. <laughs> I don't usually use legendaries. I think I'm going to this time, though. Because. I don't know, I just want to. They have 3D models and stuff. Uh, might as well. <laughs> so we have Dragon Steel, Ground Flying, Fire Steel, Water Dragon, Fire Ghost, Water Steel. We don't have any grass though. Or something we could have, I don't know. That's a pretty good team. Okay. 
I don't expect to keep them uh, for too long, though. I don't even know what a legendary is like with, uh, like, full EVs and stuff. Never had one. <laughs> I bet it's crazy, though. Alpha Memorist. Heatran should be pretty good against him. Ground part of him might kick my ass though. We'll do an agile just in case for his power. Swine. That's it, you caught them swine. Hmm. <laughs> There's an unknown here. I just press the middle or the, why are you swerving to the left yeah it turns like a dump truck Jeez, that was hard to get on. Coming all the way out here to visit us in our cold home. Hey, you're a member of the Galaxy's Team Survey Corps, right? I've heard you're studying Pokemon and making some kind of book about them. Does that mean you're studying my dear, beloved Bergamite? Of course. What? I can't allow that. That means you'll know more about Bergamite than I do, right? I'm absolutely convinced that nobody loves or understands Bergamite more than I do. Once you've completed its entry in your book, come show it to me. Bergamite's number one fan in all of his I'll make sure you haven't missed any details. Hisui.
<laughs> the trap speed him. Oh, it's that door down here that we couldn't open before. Right. There's a downstairs to the temple. Oh, I wouldn't have expected to run into you up here. Sin, what are you up to? Savvy, that's your name. You're here to try and find the secrets lurking in Snowpoint Temple, aren't you? That's what my clairvoyance told me. You do tend... <clears throat> you do tend... Get mixed up in all kinds of strange goings on, Sin. I, I think they meant to say they, you do tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange goings on, Sin. This door here, well, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. Did you try clicking A on it? The stone plate, iron plate, and icicle plate you're carrying are reacting to the door. They never even tried clicking A on it. I wonder what level these things are. Gigas. What in time is that thing? It's colossal. It sure seems to be a Pokemon, but let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. Yep, definitely a Pokemon. My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion. Zut, zut. This is gonna be hard. The Gigas is slow to get going. I guess it's Reggie Gigas. Actually, Giga Impact doesn't hurt him. Gotcha. Status moves to make it easier to catch him. Mm. 
You obtained the blank plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of normalcy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the normal type. Now that was one solid Pokemon, like a giant born of the very earth. I guess this is part of your job with the survey core, huh? What kind of Pokemon is with is the one you just caught Sin? Hmm? I can't wait to see it in the Pokedex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up to. So the question is, how do I fill out a Pokedex about a Pokemon if there's only one of them? I guess I have to use them in battle? See you, Sin. We should do another chase sometime. Based on Kogita's hints, it seems there might be two more plates left for you to find. I gotta, I'm curious now. Uh, order numerically. So Palkia. Times you've seen it use Aqua Tail. Times you've seen it use Spatial Rin. Times you've seen it use Strong Move, Agile Move. Gotcha. Roar of Time, Iron Tail. Magma Store, Fire Fang. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use the Legendaries a lot more. Oh, it seems you've made some new observation. Let's have a look then. Mm -hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Put him on instead of. Uh, I guess it's time to get rid of Empolio. Jubilife Village. Uh, which one do we have to go to? Cornet Heights. Go to the summit camp. Oh my god. Okay, you can hear me, right? Oh, I gotta talk to them here. <clears throat> I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Do you know the Pokemon called Crest Cresselia? I do. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect anyone any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Cresselia is said to be the very embodiment of the Crescent Moon. Her feathers are called Lunar Feathers. And legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. 
Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She descended upon Moonville Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so tired about Electro that I can't even sleep. Never mind dream, or so worried. Think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers? Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. Do it for my poor Electrode. Though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad if she at least recognized the perfection of the arena. Looked after with love and care by the great Melly. Luna. Oh my god, he makes me about run backwards. Oh my god, he can heal himself. And obscure himself. Alright, try Iron Tail. Hope this doesn't kill him. I missed. This is killer. <laughs> it probably will though. No. It's no good the Pokemon escaped the ball. Got him, Cresselia. Let's go. You obtained the Dread Plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of darkness. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the dark type. Well, well, this is unexpected. Instead of a lunar feather, you got some kind of a plate. I do feel power emanating from it, though. In any case, if Cresselia did not gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need for them. Not bad at all, Grunt, though I suppose anyone 
with enough luck to pass the great melee should be able to handle at least that much. Think about it, a, half, a halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner and help my lord not grow stronger still. I will go back to the settlement and tell the others about the feathers that we didn't get. Based on Kogita's hints, it seems there might be one more plate left for you to find. Let's go back and then we'll head and do the lake Pokemon. But first I have to rest up and take out my new Cresselia. Psychic type. Actually, I'll, I'll replace Typhlosion with Glacor, this core. Uh. I don't know where I'm going. I gotta go back to the village. Yes, I found one super Pokemon. Ooh. Turn to the village. Why do I have two missions? Oh, because they're in different lakes. I wonder which one this is. Kyun. This is me, whatever. Oh, wait, I just throw him? Yeah, okay. Me spirit.
Oh, she's got recover. Reggie Gigas go. Reggie Gigas, maybe? They don't recover before I can catch him. You caught me, spirit. There are two more like Pokemon left to be caught. Field lands camp. You up and catch the other two. They could have had like Celebi in here too, that'd be cool. It's going pretty good. I'm catching the lake Pokemon now. We got Regigas, and Me Spirits, and Heatran. I've been watching and just playing Final Fantasy XIV at the same time. Nice, dude. Um, well, you just had to catch the other two. Uh, Yuxi and uh, the one that's not me shift. <laughs> me spirit, I mean. Oh, there's Whiskash here too, I forgot about that. I'm not sure, I think after this we have to use the plates to fight Arceus. And then I guess it's like pretty much over unless I fill out the Pokédex. If I catch all the Whisks, I get Spiritome. So it's almost over. Even... I think he's my favorite one. As of. <laughs> Aquatail.
Ooh, he's gonna be hard to catch. What if I do a tiny earth power with agile style? Come on, it's the last one. Yeah. You got Azo. There's one more like Pokemon to be caught. Are they all psychic type, all the like Pokemon? Yep, gotcha. It's funny how there's so many psychic legendaries, like in the first few generations. <laughs> it's all dragon and psychic types. Turn to the village. Go, 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 sneeze later. Oh, 
Oh, please don't kill him. Oh, I got no... Okay, I'm gonna catch one of the great balls, I guess. You obtained the Draco plate. Yeah, the last one's Draco. Turns a certain power of Pokemon into a dragon type. You've gathered the plates related to each of the stories Kogita told you about. You should head back to Kogita's retreat. Yeah, I got all the lakes. I got all the lake Pokemon. I got Cresselia, Heatran, all those. Uh, I forget what the other one was. It's not a camp. Should I use them? Because I have. You're supposed to. The only way to fill out your Pokedex for the legendaries is to use them. So I have an excuse to play with the legendaries. Did you get all the lake spirits? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> uh, who should I get rid of? Do you want Gliscor on the team? I can get rid of Palkia now. I'm bored of him already. <laughs> Return to the village. Ancient retreat. Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Of course, Sin is a famed member of the Survey Corps after all. So, what more can you tell us? We're so close now, you must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Oh no. The hardest thing to collect in the game. Wood, so you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? Well, I suppose that's what we get to learn next. Hop on it, Sin. While it shames me to admit, Merchant, that I am, I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Oh, useless Merchant. <laughs> Remember that one quest where I had to click three at the beginning of the game? 
took me the whole game to get three, and then I used them. Where am I going to get wood? Right, I'm just going to look this up. Uh, south? Okay. There's lots of places. Let's go here and we'll go to the Brava Arena and go south. <clears throat> I kind of liked how in uh, Scarlet and Violet you could have like your Pokemon out in front of you too and auto battle and stuff that was pretty cool but they kind of like combined the two games into one game somehow. It would be really good. I better stay on the ground. Kinds of medicinal herbs here. Oh, it's a Roserade. What the hell? I didn't know that thing was here. Oh, I made it. I might have known it was here. I forgot. That's Hyper Beam. Get the hell out of here. Oh, it's super effective. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, he survived. Hyper Beam looks so cool. That's it, you got Roserade. Should be wood here somewhere. As far as I know, it just kind of spawns under trees.
I don't see any wood here, dude. I don't see this wood. space in your inventory rip I don't even have any room for it anymore let's go back bump some of the stuff off and I'm gonna look up where to find it oh, what the hell is after me you know it's funny someone took uh the hack to a girl and uh, put the song <laughs> hallelujah 
and replace the hallelujah with Hakatua. <laughs> Pretty funny. Curly ass right there. <laughs> Screw it, let's get this liquor top. Licky licky. Bridge Gigas is pretty cool. I'll give you a back. I need to make some more ultra balls. It's no good, the Pokemon's keeping the ball. No. Oh. I did not mean to do that. He's gonna heal the pool now. No, he's not. Alright, let's just use these Pokeballs. He's gonna kick my ass. He's gonna kill himself, no. Can't kill yourself yet, dude. I'm gonna catch you. it up here now again
Spring Pat, all oh, right, where are we? Crimson Marlands. On the ledge just northeast of the Brava Arena teleport waypoint. Aha, there's a piece of wood. I gotta put some of this stuff away. Okay, so this is Crimson Marlands. I need to go to the next place. Uh, doesn't really matter where. Cornet, let's go to Cornet Highlands. Okay, Cornet Highlands. Highlands Camp. Near the river in Heavenward. Okay. So, directly north near the river. Directly north. I guess he's it. Two pieces. And then Alabaster Ice Lands, directly south of Ice Peak Arena.
Where is Ice Peak Arena? Right there. Um, directly south in the wooded area of Arena Spoon Approach. I don't think I've ever been over there. Yeah, I've never been here. Oh, there's a blissy. Not even alpha. Cat blissy unawares. Dollars power. Two stun the move. Oh, ran right away. MB Pound Dusk Box. I think there's elective buzzes around here somewhere too. I should catch one. It's a frost last. Feel wild night. Use crunch. Mm. I'm not just gonna kill her now. Let's try it. really go and make some ultra balls. The sound of the Pokeball bouncing on the ice is actually so like uh, satisfying. For some reason. I'm bored, I wish there was someone to rob. What? I failed to detect an attack? Shameless, who attacks from behind? I'll make you pay for your brazen disrespect. Come on, Toxic Croak, let's pick this one in poison. Pickle this one in poison. It's pretty cool that they, uh, they're waiting for you inside the road. I never ran into them, though. There's like one trainer. 
for the whole map. Ultimate can to attack the group. Decided. What a blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? I lost even with Taxi Croak at my side. You little. I will make you pay for this embarrassment, I swear. I'll make you pay with interest. Seems she dropped something else when she fled. You obtained four nuggets. Ooh, that's 40,000 zenny. There's wisps everywhere at night time, you can see them perfect. Lucaria. I don't know what that was. It's one of those party choke things. I still never got Gudra. The Sui Gudra. Not bad against Psychic? What the hell? You should have made his toy Lucario. Got him.
Let's go back and make some Ultra Balls real quick. Wait, I had to go to Ice Peak, right? Let's do that first, because that's why I'm getting wood. Uh, directly south in the wooded area. Something shiny in the grass. Could it be the wood? You obtained a torn journal. An old stab bound di diary. In its traditional style, it has been torn and is missing the latter half of its pages. I found a couple of pages. Every bit, I was on my way back to the village when a blizzard blew, and I decided to take refuge for the night among the mountain huts. I woke at dawn due to some noise before I, me stood in. I stood a... Arbed in a fine kimono. Our eyes met, and... Beauty stole my breath fro... My breast, yet... It... It's a terrible beauty. Frightened to behold. I clad my eyes in terror, waiting for the move on and leave me in peace. When next I opened my eyes, the head disappeared, leaving behind nothing but the driven, driving, driven snow, I guess is what it was. The rest of the pages are torn. Oh, there's, there's a village here? Moonstone. Iron chunk. So wait, where is this hidden village to? Wait now, torn diary Arceus. Torn diary Arceus. <laughs>
Uh, duh, 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 duh. This is hard to figure out, hold on, guys. It's not even worth it. Screw it. But, what is important is to find this wood. Should be a tree or somewhere with wood near it. There it is. Nice, fifty nine hundred. Okay, let's go back to the village and then we can pass in the wood for the quest. Give Kogita the item. Oh, we only got two out of three? I almost put the other one away. Ancient retreat. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me the wood. Three logs will do. Have you gathered the three I requested? Here you go. You handed over three logs of wood. Oh, oh, yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? Seeker, your expectations need tempering. I fear this wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. C -c cutting boards, you mean for cooking? Plates were, were after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. How you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Sin, a reward for the wood you brought me. You received the pixie plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of fairies. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the fairy type. That's one of the plates we were looking for. Um, apologies. That's indeed one of the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, that does look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. While the engravings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board, whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power, the plate's power, rather. Well, no more needs saying. 
What do you two intend to do now? She gave up her magic plate. Well, we managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now, but I still don't know what we're what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look around the celestial runes. Those runes contain statues of both Diagla and Palkia. They might hold the secrets. I see a fine pretext to continue shirking your merchantile duties to crawl about in old runes as you so enjoy. I'm with you then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. The Celestical Runes, Sin. I'll see you there. Celestical Runes, eh? Go on now to Celestical Runes. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What can we live... What can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? Let's go. Um, Celestical Runes. I wonder where that is. Mount Cornet, okay. A lot of stuff happens at Mount Cornet. Uh, let's go to the summit camp. It's a lot quick closer. Have a look at this sin. This statue has been kept here, far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I think so. Of course you would. You're the greatest wielder of Pokemon's land knows, the one who could eat. Bring low even Dialga and Palkia. This crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon, one that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from her world, the great Pokemon Giratina. It was banished for its violence left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is said it is being it is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if this Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, what do you think it might where do you think it might appear? The Temple of Sinna? Exactly. Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in Hisui. Hisui. And where the space time rift first opened. <laughs> I can feel it. we're getting closer to uncovering the secrets of the world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should. But, you see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with someone painful, something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why my life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live so through such things. Of course, I imagine we'll all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, and ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be, and with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Now, if we could find the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinath itself. Don't you want to see it with your own eyes? You must make for the Temple of Sinath at Mount Hornet's Peak. Dialga and Palkia both appeared from within the rift that once escaped Pan there, didn't they? 
if these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that it is where it would be, where it would appear. Whoa, it's way up there. Oh, it's Electabuzz. Oh, it's Electivir. Shit. I never made Ultra Balls. Let's go back and make some freaking Ultra Balls. Good enough. Let's go. I think I have to go for the key. Almost there, boys. The temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken like pillars now turned in spears, stabbing into the heavens. Now I detect a distant lack of Jertina. Hmm, is something bothering you? Ah, uh, I do beg your pardon. I suppose it must seem to be... I must seem to be behaving strangely. I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there must... There has been one question that has consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer that question that I originally sought out Duratina and had it and had it tear open that rift in space and time. Volo was the bad guy. Holy shit, dude. After all, Duratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing de deity just as the more murals of the runes directed. Eighteen plates said to be the fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hands seventeen of them, so you must be wondering, where's the last one? Why, it's right here. Whoa. Now, hand over the plates you've gathered and I'll be the one to bring them all together. My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. 
If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power. And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Hisui region that we currently exist in will be on and done and return to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon here will vanish in an instant, as if you'd never been. If you want to keep this battle from dis this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Not that you have a choice, even if you don't wish to battle me. I'm not above using force to take this place from you. Pokemon wielder Volo challenge you to a battle. Spiritome. My god, he's gonna be a monster. Level 68. Let's do... Thunderfang. Oh, he avoided it. He had 95% accuracy. Alright, reasonable dose. Shadow Ball. I'm dead. Um. Yeah, let's use a normal against this ghost thing. The Gigas is slow to get going. Giga impact. It has no effect on him, of course. Hypnosis. Alright, Iron Head. Two drags to move. Alright, I'm using a pool. Oh, I don't have any. Strong style iron hit. Let's go. Oh, he used a full restore. Strong style iron hit. Let's go. Destroy that spirit tomb. Lucario. Close combat? Dude, I didn't even have a chance to switch. It's cheating. Let's do a Magnet Storm. Garchomp. Strong style. Oh, dude, he killed me one hit. Critical hit. Oh, this is rough. Dialga. We're gonna do Roar Time. Let's go. Boom. So fast, oh my god. He killed Dialga, dude. Before I can move. Uh, I don't have Palkia either, this is not good. I might lose. This is uh, going to be a problem. Strang style. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's kill him. Defense is lowered. Raging Fury. Oh, I survived. Psychic. Let's 
spear tone. Ah, fairy. Let's go, Moonblast. My ah, spear tone. Spear tomb. Razorade. Agile style. Pedal dance. Oh my god, dude, how fast is he? He's off. You're my last hope. Jeez, I'm gonna have to <laughs> revive someone just in case. Cover those two. He's gonna kill me, probably. Oh, he just put spikes down. Uh, I almost would have preferred him to kill me. Come on, can I get a turn? Super effective. Should just kill me. Myself. Toga kiss. Ooh, this could be a problem. <laughs> Bad against steel, though. Let's go Heatran Iron Head. If I can outspeed him. Strong style Iron Head. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we beat him. Take that, Volo. Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? Why? How? I devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped him as creator of our entire world. I bent all my passion and interest to its study. All the time I've spent pouring over legends, everything that I've done. You outsider, it's almost as if you were spat out by space time rip <clears throat> just to get in my way. No, no, this isn't finished yet. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins, the eldritch presence icing your heart? Be shot. It's Giratina. Like you're his trainer. Get out of the way, Vola. Giratina, strike him down. Did I get healed at least? No. Oh my god. Richard Gigas. We catching that Giratina. Or a sphere on them. <laughs> Heat train. Strong style crunch. You were defeated in battle. Try again with a stronger team of Pokemon. I mean, try again with a team that's fully healed. Come on, Pokemon. Now hand over the plates you gathered. Do I have to fight him again? Oh my god. Can I skip this? I have to fight Volo again. No way, dude. Ah, 
now. Um. <laughs> so it turns out that Volo was the one who tore a, a, a rift in space time, and then I fell out of the rift. And his whole he wants to meet Arceus because Arceus is a god and he worships Arceus. And he has a monster team ball level 70s. And then after you beat him, you have to fight Giratina. Because apparently Giratina is an evil force that all he wants is to fight Arceus. That's his whole like his whole thing. And he was locked away in a different world, the reverse of our world. And he's unlocking him. He tricked us into unlocking Giratina. So I beat him. And then I had to fight Giratina. And Giratina tore my head off. And now I gotta fight him again. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat him this time. Let's see. If I use Cresselia for Spiritome. And he doesn't switch. I can use Moonblast to kill him. Okay. Now Arcanine, this is a problem. Let's do let's see if I can start dodging his abilities. That would be sick. This heals and obscures me. Cresselia, I believe. Yes. It's happening. I'm an elusive god. Oh no, he can hit me. Alright, you know what? Strong Psychic, let's go. Defensive stats are lowered. He missed with his crunch. Oh, but he gets another one. I think that was worth it. She took out one and a half. Steel Dragon, can't use him. Steel Fire. Oh, Gliscor, perfect. This is going to be close, though. Come on, bulldoze. Ooh, he's fast and tries to outspend him. Those raid. He, like, sends a Pokemon out and attacks you immediately. So annoying. <sighs> Let's just do a strong style aerial ace. Double kill, baby. Toga kiss. Now, how did I beat this guy last time? Oh, the score. Flinch, flinch, flinch. No. <laughs> Okay, Togekiss, how did I beat him? I think I used Steel. I think I used Heatran and an Iron Head. Let's use Agile. Let's go, Heatran. Okay, cool. Not very effective. Dude, how are you so fast? Chill, man, chill. 
strong style. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be able to beat this now. I think it's Clefable, no guard trap. Uh oh. He trans so dead. All I got left is dial because we're over time. What a monster team he had, bro. This would probably be a lot harder without legendaries, I don't know. Unless you had a really good balanced team. Because my team is not that balanced, honestly. <laughs> Now can I like heal in between or does this just this is gonna throw me right into the boss fight? This is like elder elder school shit going on here. I mean Elden Ring, Elder Scrolls. Giratina. Oh no, as elf. Time is my only hope. Agile style, oh no. Oh, okay. He can hold his own, kind of. Oh, this is not good. He's gonna use Aura Spear on me and kill me instantly. It's already over. Unless. Unless. There's no choice but to win this battle. Oh. Unless. I got one turn to kill him. Let's go. Iron Head. Ah, I'm dead. So dumb. Oh my god. I'd be able to easily beat him if my Pokemon were healed. I just like, I just gotta go here and buy Ultra Revives and then go all the way back. <laughs> it's actually kind of a pain in the ass to get there. There's 3,000 each? Uh, I might have to switch out something. Psychic is really no good to me here. Oops, you're not the guy I switch Pokemon out. Azelf, I don't need your ass. Palkia would probably be better. Or even... Empoleon would be pretty good too. Two dragons is kind of a lot. Yeah, he's bad to ghost. See, oh, I'll take Typhlosion. Probably a bad idea though. Typhlosion's kind of shit. <laughs> I 
Like Typhlosion's never been able to kill more than two Pokemon at once. I don't know if that's just because he's always been under leveled or something. The problem is, it's not really balanced, because he throws out a Pokemon and it attacks before you can switch or attack or even choose an attack or use an item or anything. So it becomes really egregious. I think I can beat this though. I just didn't expect it to be... A battle and then a legendary fight. I thought it was just gonna be a legendary fight and then Bolo turned on my ass. <clears throat> what was his first Pokemon? I think I killed his first two Pokemon with Blue Score. But I gotta use the bathroom and I'll be right back. Alright, you still there? We're going to... Uh, again now. 
Um, there was something else I was going to say, though. I can't remember what it was. It'll come back to me, though. I'm supposed to use for this. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. What I really like about this game is it shows you look effective, 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 effective. And uh, when you're in the menu, over here it shows effective, no effect, right? Super effective. And then it gets even better. When they like buff their stats, you can see it next to their name, if it's an attack buff or a defense buff, if it's up or down. The only thing they can make that better is if it was like a number of how many stages it was up or down. That'd be sick. Oh, I survived it. There goes the full restore. This time we're going to use Agile Style. Trick them into wasting this, uh... Full Restore. Early. And we're going to use Agile Style, so we can get a turn back faster. Then he's gonna throw out an attack right away. Kill Cresselia, nope. So we're gonna switch to Gliscor. Gliscor is gonna take it the next two, I think. Depending on who he switches to afterwards. this time. Especially with the max revives. Oh, pedal dance. Tons of kiss. He comes in using Moonblast, like what? Let's use Regigas on Togus. Because he's not going to be good against uh, Giratina anyway with the War Sphere. Survived it. I should use Agile. Get him. Cario. Thank God for the bulk up. I can do the same thing to him, see, I can swap him and use a skill. So it's actually kind of broken for me, too. Oh, he had sped me. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't laugh. Flame thrower, use agile style. I should use regular. Nope. Didn't need it. Critical hit. Character. Oh no, he's gonna kill him. Oh no way. Oh no, I type flowers. 
Yep. Figures. Four time. Do they level up every time? And do I keep the experience? Or does it restart? I kind of think I would keep the experience. It's probably worth just dying over and over just to farm the experience. <laughs> Bishan! Offensive stats were lowered, okay. I'm gonna die here. I need a Pokemon I can max revive that's gonna survive more than one hit. Tran might be the only one and I don't think. Does he steal? He's got worse here. Maybe Dialga can do it. Two attacks. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, no, nah, I can't put it on the line like that. Let's revive Dialga. Let's see if you can even kill Heatran in one hit. Then take two revives off. We'll do Cresselia. I don't know if she can take a hit or not. <laughs> I don't think so. That being said, Aura Sphere's only got five PP. He did survive one. She survived it, nice. Now. Can I speed him? Let's go for the speed. No way. He's obscured. That's not good, I shouldn't let him go obscured. Or should have obscured her. One or the other. 
We're gonna try to crunch him. Agile crunch. It's probably gonna miss. No. <laughs> hey, Sapoli, I laughed my ass off. Good luck. Yep. He's already kicked my ass twice. Dialga might have beaten him if he didn't miss. I still have a chance here because he can't one shot me. So if I can hit both of these and do over half his health with two, I go in. So here it goes, guys. For the win. Oh god, second phase. Oh my god. <laughs> it unleashes its true strength. Sweet Jesus. Oh, hell no. You dead as hell. Okay, we're gonna go level. Fuck this. We need a Jaratina killer. I knew that was good. <laughs> I hate you, Ace and Polyam. I hate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> if you didn't have to fight the Volo first, I could probably do that. But it doesn't even let you, like, heal in between. Let me out this crazy thing. Now, where's the best place to level? I barely slip by with one more of time. Lands probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think. See these like these legendaries, and they don't have EVs or anything yet, and they're like the same level I caught them at. So I think it's time that we make them a little bit stronger. See if we can find any final evolution Pokemon so we can get like lots of experience. Anyways, I'm looking for Alpha Raichu. Shiny Alpha Raichu. Very nice. Is he hard to find? <clears throat> I was just reading that, the, uh, well, according to a YouTube title that I read, <laughs> um, Cherubi is the hardest to get in this game. Not with the method you're using? Nice. Was it like the Methuselah Methusa method or whatever the fuck that was called? Methusah. No, there gotta be level 70 Pokemon somewhere. Let's go 
up here. Wait, the Pearl Clan lives up here? Why the hell would you live up here? Something wrong with you, Pearl guys. Oh, she's got a request for me? Hello, Sin. I was just about to go find you and tell you about the precious, incredible, precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? I'm curious. As you should be. This isn't a single person in all of Asui who wouldn't be interested in treasure. Anyway. Before I show you, can you guess what I want to do? You want to battle? Yes, exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours. Like what you did atop that cornet. Now give me a moment, I need to center myself. Oh, it's Blissey's his best way level. Looks like we're hunting the elf blissy boys. Oh my god, two of them at once. Ah, oh, he trans saw. You get double lapped and you missed. <laughs> oh, you couldn't even one shot her? My god. I had an outbreak spawn right on it. He's spawning it. But then I clear the outbreak, saved, and reopened so the Vashu respawns every time. Gotcha. I did something pretty similar in uh, Scarlet and Violet, the Shiny Hunt. <clears throat> but you can set up a camp, and every time you go into the camp, it resets all of the spawns. Crunch. Oh, you're gonna kill my heat train with zero experience. Damn. That's one thing I never got with these games. It's like your Pokemon dies doing all the work. Then he wakes up and he has zero experience. <laughs> That's just tedious, having to get the experience again. Uh, obsidian field lands, That's where I gotta go. Battle decided. Wonder is there people in the world out there stronger than you? I'll just have to find out for myself. I suppose you're the treasure I promised you. Lustrous globe. 
When used on Palkia, this large glowing orb wells from power with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. I told you this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to Almighty Sin Er and <laughs> Er to Mighty Palkia, I mean. And since Mighty Palkia with you now, I'll entrust the lustrous orb to you too. Thank you, Sin, for everything. Maybe I can use that to beat the fight. Alright, we're going to put Palkia on the team. And... I'm sorry, back home in Loa, Vulpix were called Kyu Kyu. You see? Kin Kin. Oh, it's an alone Vulpix. Hmm. Oh, did you not go to play with the rest? This is what an alone Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so trying to find them all just by myself would take ages. But I'm still missing five of them. Would you be able to find my Vulpix playing around the avalanche slopes? Could you tell them all? Could you find them all and tell them to come back? Yeah, maybe someday. <laughs> Let me out of here, dude. I want to escape. Okay. What am I looking for? Uh, so wait, wait. The Lustrious Orb can evolve Palkia. Palkia transform. Oh, I can probably transform her back. Oh, she looks like Arceus. Spatial Rend. <clears throat> now, this is interesting. I'm guessing she's stronger now. Let's see if I can get him some new moves. Draco Meteor Ice Beam. Hyper Beam. Outrage. Let's go with Ice Beam. <clears throat> and maybe Draco Meteor? Yeah, yeah, let's get Draco Meteor. I gotta think of what kind of guys he's got. It's mostly Giratina's problem, so...
I want to keep earth power. I think we can get rid of hydro pump. Mm, actually, we'll put hydro pump instead of aqua tail. Actually, you know, we need aqua tail. Draco meter. Meteor. Yeah, let's get rid of spatial rend. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. That's hard. Hard choices. Change moves. Now this guy could really use like bulldoze or something, but uh, Cresselia. Beam. Mm. Let's give him ice beam. Give everyone ice beam. Wait, okay, ice beam's there. Get rid of flash cannon for ice beam. Okay, that should keep us. Let's just do a little level. I want to see how much this actually gives us. I actually went to the wrong place, but... We're going to have to go back and then come back in. To be fair, I could probably beat them with this team now that I have Palkia. Let's go to... Obsidian fields. Is that where it is? Yep. So this is the best place in the game. Prime experience. Supposedly. Look around here somewhere. Supposed to be an Alpha Blissey. Now, did this Bel like how did this Belky even change? Check my map again in a second. Oh no, is he in there? No, he's not. He's a, he's above it. As far as I can tell. Let's 
to um, Earth Power. Oh my god, he's so tanky. Crazy. Frostbite. Double edge. Oh my god, it's so strong. Steel should counter it though. <laughs> oh, he's a normal type though. <laughs> the more HP the target has left, the more power it has. Goodbye, Blissey. <laughs> Soft boils. Oh, thank God he calmed mine instead. Get him. Oh, Pal Kid's getting zero experience. Of course. That's pretty good, six dies in each Pokemon. So I gotta keep going back to that place over and over? Oh my god, that sounds horrible. I should try this again now that I got ice beam.
Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. back in. Hmm. About to kill <laughs> five of all those Pokemon and then Giratina twice. And then for all I know, Arceus after that. <laughs> Start with Chris, oh yeah. Celia. Boom. Spear tome down. No damage, nice. Arcanine. Crunch. This is what makes this fight hard. He sends him in and attacks you like twice in a row, like, so dumb. Uh, let's do Palkia. Trying to stall Aqua Tail. Focus. <clears throat> Calm mind. Okay. Okay. So when it just says defensive stats, is that like <laughs> special defense and defense? Blast. Oh my 
God, he's very... Full restore. Now I'm screwed. Oh my god. What are these Pokemon? Returns for nothing. Max dollars. No, maybe if I take a bunch of grit candy. Stronger. I'm doing worse now than before. There's power. Guess I'm dead. I can't be Bolo now. What the hell? Alright, sure you have to kill me. Trying to think of a way to beat him. Why is Brigigas normal? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's use this grit stuff. Start with Cresselia.
Now Arcanon's gonna kill Cresselia. that too. start looking at the third order. Me? Okay. I'll do this like a two turns. Why? That didn't make sense. I guess you gotta look at the turn order, it's very important. Choose a skill. He's back here. Okay, he gets two turns. Two's ice beam though. chance to hit him. Oh, come on, man. We're on with ice beam. Screw it. There's no reason for that steel attack. Actually, I guess it does 100 damage. It's still 75 that gives him best experience in the game is probably fighting this guy over and over.
I'm so screwed. You're slow, so I'm going to take three turns. <laughs> but I only need one to kill you. You know what? Taki is coming back. hit rate only oh, hit one out of three so far does that make any sense Draco meteor yeah all my offensive stats were lowered well, if I knew that I wouldn't even put it on I'm just gonna keep. I'm guessing that I keep my experience, right? Okay, keep an eye on their stats. See if they actually go up. Spirit Home for Cresselia. Strong stuff. Okay. 
I think Ice Beam is a destroyer, I think. So let's try it. How did he survive? Kill me. Try to get some an iron head or two in here. Yeah, two agile iron heads. Heatran's 72 now. So when we get out of this battle, we'll see if Heatran's still 72. If we die, we'll see if he stays, keeps experience. Time, come on. Yes, finally. Didn't miss this time. And I'm dead. The score. Double area lace. Let's go. Get 
his ass. Dude, I already beat him. He has a second form. It's already over. He had to beat Volo, Giratina, and then Giratina original form. It's like impossible. And every time he throws a Pokemon at it, it just instantly attacks me and kills me. <laughs> but every time I fight him, I get a shitload of experience. So it's just down to how many times do I have to fight him until I can finally beat him. If I don't beat him this time, I might stop until tomorrow. I don't know. Because <laughs> this is going to take longer than like an hour, probably. Volo's not even that hard. I got him figured out pretty good. Now he's just cheating. That actually might have been the best thing that could possibly happen because he didn't automatically attack me. Because now I can swap the Gliscor. Gliscor will attack when he goes out, right? Because it's broken. No. It's only broken for him. But I can one-shot him. I also get two turns, so he's screwed. So I gotta keep a very close eye on the turn order in the top right. When I'm using strong and agile, or I could screw myself. See, that Roserade killed me. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Normally, I kill Roserade. Okay, Heat Train should be faster than this guy. Come on. See, I can do double Iron Head. For no reason. I can use Iron Hand twice. All my other moves, I can only use once. So is Iron Head like faster than other moves? But I did not know that till this fight. I'm dead. Damn it. That was not good. Hopefully Palkia can kill him without getting hit. But he's gonna get hit because as soon as he throws out another guy, he's gonna hit me. Glass. He actually survived it this time. He's getting stronger. I should have swapped. I hated it. I hated his fight so much, yeah. I can see why I did. We're gonna go with Steel here, actually. Go over Giga Steel. I'm getting a bunch of experience. Took at least 30 tries, yeah. Hmm. Each time you beat him, he gives you a bunch of experience. I'm guessing that if your Pokemon were like EP trained and stuff, it wouldn't be so bad. Your legendaries, at least. Hey, I'm missing myself too. How's it going? Thanks for the follow. Dark Pulse. I can double this guy. Two turns for every one of his. Okay, Garchomp. Dead. 
We're gonna throw out. That's a good question. I want to keep Dial, go for Jertina. I go to Ice Beam. At least I won't miss. Oh, I should have went to other move. Dude, I did the best the first time. He cheated at the beginning of Spiritome didn't die, and then he pulled it back and screwed everything up. Tell you seventy two. Another fast way to level might be uh, that stuff in the middle of town, the training grounds where you can fight trainers. I don't really want to be farming Blissey. Blissey is so boring. Keep leaving and coming back, killing her. For 5,000 screens, a hit, a kill. Cresselia might actually be able to do something here. Since they kept her alive, oh no. He goes first for a pick and attack. That's great. Double moon blast. Oh my god. That was super good moment. I took Sheen a lot, I should have healed myself. I'll pay for that now. To be fair though, he probably still would have killed me. Yeah, he's obscured, and I had to hit him with the roar tone. You look dog, yeah. Yeah, final form. I guess this is final form. Never beaten it. Four sphere, I'm good. No? Not good. In my opinion, you should be able to attack and use an item at the same time. Because you're different than your Pokemon. Let's just do this. I'm gonna make sure you die this time. Yeah, he's gonna crunch me. Oh, he actually didn't kill me this time. Let's see if I can survive this. Hmm. Let's 
just switch the score. turn though. Cheater. Dead now. Now she's gonna come out and do pedal dance and kill me. Oh my god. <gasps> she missed. Just in case. Make sure she dies here. Toga kiss. He's gonna kill me. No, come on. Could this be the run? Is this the run chat? No. We did. Ridge Gigas. <laughs> Agile Iron Head, see if we can get two of these up. Actually, you know what? I should have just strong there. But if I didn't beat him, it would have screwed me on this turn. Lucario. Tran. No way, man. Let me take a turn. Oh my god. I don't I don't like this fight. <laughs> He's cheating. The rules don't apply. Or do you only apply sometimes? This is my last attempt, so I gotta do good. Oh, Dalga. Dude, why does he need to attack twice? This is why, I guess this is why they don't want Pokemon games too hard, because <clears throat> it's like just a, a stat check at, at a certain point. And it doesn't matter how good you are at playing the game, it's like, you're not high enough level, you're not going to win, right? But I, I wouldn't even mind that if there's a good place to level up. Best place to level up is fighting them over and over. <clears throat> and that's only if you can beat them. <laughs> Giratina gonna snack it real good. Oh yeah, he's gonna snack it. 
we just getting some experience. Although, this is the most Pokemon I've had going into this fight. So it's probably the first time I fought him. And I didn't know he had a second form the first time I fought him. But, that being said, I still don't think I can do it. Because he's, he's just too cheap. He gets, like, watch this. He's going to attack right away. He's going to use Shadow Force. He's probably going to kill my first Pokemon, which is Cresselia. My first mistake. And then I'm going to get that turn. So I just lose a Pokemon right away, but I didn't be able to do anything. Then, I'm going to throw... He's obscured now, on top of that. Now this guy's pretty much useless for his whole fight. So, we'll just go with Palkia. Ice Beam. Can't even hit him. Okay, Draco Meteor. Still can't hit him. My best chance is all screwed now. Do you see how stupid it is now? <laughs> it's actually... It's not even the system, it's actually rigged. The system doesn't even work like that. Because I can't do it to him. I'm pretty screwed now. There's no point in even beating him because he doesn't even give me experience if I beat him. I guess first form. Alright. We're probably gonna pick this up tomorrow because I'm gonna have to fight him like 10 more times just to level up. <laughs> and I already played for 7 hours and I don't think I can do another hour fighting him over and over. But tomorrow, we'll pick it up again. And I want to thank you guys for watching. TGs. Appreciate. And if you like the stream, don't forget to follow. Have a good night. And check me out on YouTube, at Dracovich. Subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.